They're they're pummeling. I'm getting on. They're not about to get into it. Into it. Anyone, anyone tune for? Nah, bro, it's over. Bro, the amount of people I can see right now. So we don't have any turrets? I don't have any, I'm, I can't help you. Make a promise. The world away. Breathe it. Through this debate. And we're back. And as you can tell by the intro, this video gets pretty crazy. And this time I'm playing with Tone, like usual, and a couple other of my friends end up hopping on, but it's mainly just me and Tone for the whole wipe. And we decided to set the goal to take Brad as many times as possible. And when you're taking Bradley a bunch, it normally leads to you getting enemies. I also decided to make a couple changes to my base design and switch up the gatehouses a bit, which made my base practically unraidable. But when it counted most, I ended up making a mistake and leaving some doors open, and it kind of screwed us over. So you'll have to watch to the end to see how I managed to come back from a raid that I had already lost. And the same as last video, I'm going to set the like goal to 1500 likes. If we get there, I'm going to upload two videos every week along with a PC video pretty soon. I'm obviously not the best at PC, but I've been playing it here and there just trying to improve so I can make a video. But yeah, 1500 likes and I will upload it twice a week for the rest of this month. Anyways, I'm not going to keep y'all waiting. I'm going to throw y'all right into the wipe. We went over to launch and decided to build as close as possible since we were going to be taking Brad like crazy. And after loading in and looking at the map, this is a map we've already played and we knew that the nodes were good to the left of launch along those mountains. We also knew that the nodes were good up north towards airfield in the snow. So we decided to build in the same spot that I've built in the past at H12, which was close enough for us to always hear Brad being taken and we would also be able to go to oil rig if we wanted to. And this was also a monthly, and we joined pretty late into wipe, so there was already a ton of big bases, and since it was a high pop, there was a lot of big teams. And with it only being me and Tone, it was obviously not going to be an easy task to take Brad on timer. And of course, as all wipes start, I farm for the starter of the base. And of course, after putting the base down, I went straight to launch to get metal frags for the doors and code locks. Did he get this one? Dude, you dude, I have told you so many times that for my whole base this time. And after getting the base down with a metal door, I decided to start and try to grub people. I did not have BPs, so I was kind of stuck with just a crossbow. It's three fucking bulkheads. Hmm. Let's hope they don't show up this way. Y'all are gonna kill me either way. I'm gonna fuck up your health before you do it, too. I got three hits off before they could kill me. <laughs> and over the next hour and a half, I continued to try and grub people. In reality, all I needed to do was get my first gun. What is this guy doing? 
This guy's not real. <laughs> My god. And even if I managed to kill that Tommy guy, there would have been three or four more geared guys right behind him. If I hit mine, I would have had a Tommy. Yes, sir. There's the Tommy guy that couldn't hit his shots. I just killed him for a burlap. He really had a downgrade, not gonna lie. And after that, I went back to launch to try and farm some components. And I ran into yet another group. Three. are fucking ass bro you are hot garbage and of course after saying a couple mean things in game chat because i was frustrated at how deep they were i respawned and decided to go back I, dude they are so so i'm gonna go ahead and cut myself off this group which was for some reason crouch walking around and launch and just camping it in general these guys, they pissed me off because launch is my favorite way to try and progress early game just because of how easy it is to get comps. But these guys were straight up camping it and it was almost 2 in the morning. And if you're wondering why I'm playing at 2 in the morning, it's because Tone does not normally get on until around midnight. So we didn't actually start playing until around 1.30. And after dying once, I continued to try and grub them over and over again. They dog me out, boy. He picked up my fucking mouth. Oh my god, bro. Two coming from behind you. I'm on top of the mountain. Yeah, I know. It. I hit the Tommy guy twice. Run into his teammates, bro. What is wrong with this server? And once again, I caught a guy alone outside launch, and instead of trying to fight me, he ran over to his teammate, even though he could have just shot me with the Tommy. We had been playing the server for over an hour, and we had not seen a single person less than three deep, which was annoying, and we wanted to hop off, but we decided to keep it pushing. And even after about 30 minutes, these guys were still sitting in launch camping it. Look at him crouch walking up to me. This guy is not real. I supposed to do How do I can't even lie I don't think I've ever had this bad of luck while grubbing I actually ended up spawning random and farming barrels on the way back to base and I made my goal just to tech tree some stuff on tier 1 like DB or revolver and I actually ended up getting a comp bow Okay, why the fuck is the mace and the cleaver both 75 scrap? I actually ended up gambling with one of the guys who was camping launch site. This game is bullshit. 
And my luck at the wheel also was not the best. Oh my god! <laughs> that was a guy I was gambling with! And of course, after finally taking a small win, I kept running around with a comp bow. What the harbor? What the hell? Why is he have so many mazes? So the maze come back there. Something like that. That was the Tommy guy shooting, but I don't even know. Yeah, it is. I killed him. How the fuck did you kill him? With the bow. Bro, what? Who was it? I ain't even look at the name. I'm gonna go back to his body though. That's how I just clip it. Base is to the left. A hollow Tommy? Really? Mm -hmm. Oh my god. So after literally two hours of me struggling to grub anyone, Tone manages to kill a guy with a hollow Tommy with only a bow. And obviously Tone's the goat, so I should have never expected less. And after getting the Tommy and BPing the Tommy and the Hollow, my next goal was getting a red card because I was not going to run out with the only Tommy we had and get set back to square one. And after getting a red card, that opens up the opportunity to run Launch Sites Puzzle, which would hopefully give us a lot of SMG bodies and tech trash to be able to craft Hollows and Tommies. And it would also give us a lot of other comps to recycle for extra scrap, considering we had no BPs to begin with. I'll grind when I'm not tired. He's got a he's got a Jackie. Hey, I'm on my way. Python? <laughs> Don't, he's loaded. You gotta get over here. Yeah. Like three green away. Yeah, I'm just gonna... It's top right E7. He's wearing a snow jacket, I doubt you'll miss it. And risking the red card and all the scrap I just got, I went for a guy farming with Jackie. I managed to kill him with the first eight shots, and he didn't even get to shoot back, not to mention he was pretty loaded. Finally, my luck was turning around, and me and Tone were not about to stop the momentum. And after almost three hours of nothing but farming, we BP'd a couple things, and we finally sealed the bunker and hopped off. Of course, Tone, he's a grinder, and he stayed on a little longer than me, but my sleep schedule was whack, so I really had not been sleeping much, and I needed to get off. I'm dropping the med BP. Alright, that's reps for tonight. And I'm not. Okay, so I'm obviously not Trevor from GTA, and you can tell that I just woke up. So I'll explain what happened. I went ahead and hopped on probably like 10 minutes after I woke up and checked on the base. I grabbed some food, and then I ran into launch to see what was going on. After grabbing a couple crates, my power went out for a few seconds, completely cutting my setup off, which completely deleted the recording of like the past five minutes. 
and since it was around 1.30 to 2 p.m. that meant that I was going to be solo for most of the day. Considering that Tone wasn't on and the only way I'd get teammates is if I found someone else to hop on. Honestly, I didn't mind, I was just gonna do some grinding so we would have a bunch of guns to work with when he did hop on. That's crazy. Dirty red room camper. Dirty fucking red room camper. You found somebody? Holy shit. And after only being on for about 10 to 15 minutes, my luck had completely turned around. Not only did I make a huge play for Tommy, red card, a bunch of meds and bullets, I also had Jose hop on. Which meant I was not going to be solo and now we had even more guns and cards to use. And after daytime came around, I went back to launch with the red card and ran the puzzle. And for some reason this server had a crazy amount of people who camp the puzzle. And these guys were obnoxious. Okay, that's convenient, a hollow. And once again, the red card campers were trying to kill me while I was recycling. I don't know what it was with this server, but the amount of people who just sat in launch and camped it, it was crazy. I ended up texting these guys and calling them bad, and they went on about how they own launch or something like that. And this was not the last time that I run into them. And after about 15 minutes later, I went back to launch to see if they were camping it again. I saw the door to the fuse shut, and I didn't even think about walking in. Fucking weirdos, bro.
and after depoting a bunch of loot from launch, we heard some gunshots on the other side of the mountain that we lived on. After going to check it out, we realized that it was Meliodas' base, which was one of the guys that was camping launch site. And I can't lie, I had a vendetta against this guy and this group because of how much they camped launch. And this led to me sitting outside of their base and killing them over and over. I don't know how this managed to happen, but somewhere in between all of this fighting, they had gotten deeped on by a different guy. But before they got deeped on, I ended up profiting quite a few guns. Where'd you go? I can't loot him though. Tell him that. Outside, I'm dead. He should be dead. I'm dead though. You dead, he, he dead. He How the fuck me. did you die? I was one HP. Hey, come here, come here, come here. I'm coming. Want me to kill myself? No, you need to boost me out. Oh. Appreciate the Tommy, big dog. Alright guys, so I sh- Holy shit, let the- I- Excuse me, Ooh, let the base owner speak, please. Let the one that owns the base speak. And after profiting a couple guns off of them, I went ahead and logged off because it was still early in the day. And I logged off so I could take a nap so I wouldn't be tired when Tone got off of work. And after waking up from my slumber and tone hopping on, we were ready to grind. Have you seen this fucking base over here? It's the one with all them damn windmills on the top. Windmills. It's got three layers of compound. And finally, while on a farm run, I came across this base at J17. And I'm not gonna censor it or anything or like, you know, I'm gonna keep it a buck with y'all. This is probably the worst team I've ever played against. It's like a 10 man of 5th graders and they are absolutely awful. And despite being 10 deep, maybe more, and having such a big base, they still offline to everyone. And the only reason I knew this is because all of the Vindies around the map were calling them offliners. And after seeing that base, that motivated me to get the remaining scrap to take Bradley so I could, you know, maybe fight them at launch. He's on red card shooting at me. Oh my god. What happened? This guy is loaded. What is body fail? You should get over here and camp this side. No, no, I killed a oh, the other guy on the ground. Damn, I'm ass. It's two dudes jumping in, uh, towards our base right now. Just get that fuse in, that's all that matters. Yeah. They raiding. Us? <laughs> with satchels, yeah. They're raiding us. Yes, with satchels. Got another gun? Killed one. Hit the other one once. He ran behind the base. He healing up. Hold on. Hit him once. Easy. Okay, and me. That's crazy. I ain't never he heard had it. hella satchels on him. I got like, he's got one more on him. I have seven. You gotta go out and loot the rest. Gotcha. And obviously, being the trash talker I am, I texted him and, you know, made fun of him a little bit. 
I even texted him while he was door camping and told him to run away or I was gonna kill him for whatever he had. Which I did, and he did not take it lightly at all. Loot him uh, when you spawn back in. To make it even better, Tone went out naked, and this guy's Tommy broke while he was shooting at Tone. His Tommy broke? <laughs> My boy about to get a uh, damn uh, blueprint and a hammer from me. A building plan and a hammer. Literally seconds before you died to him, I said walk away with whatever you're camping with or I'm killing you for that too. And of course I had to go back to red card and get the body of the guy I killed. And after going to the top and seeing that there was no elites, I decided to log off for a couple minutes. Oh my god, dude. Brown crate just spawned on top of me. Pound life person, bro. It's I'm talking like about a pan of lasagna, bro. That motherfucker could eat. And somehow, after being logged off for only like 5 to 10 minutes, someone found me and killed me. And Tone had saw the guy and saw where he was running, but he was really far behind, so we didn't know where he lived. We came across this base in the same direction he ran, and we were assuming that it was this one. So I went back with a couple satchels, and we decided to see if we could raid it. Fucked off. Garage door. Oh. You too? That shit took me down. Place in between them, dude. TX. Guy behind the base. A cleaver's crazy. This shit doesn't have anything good. A jackhammer, chainsaw, shotgun trap, windmill, PC. And after failing to raid it because we didn't have enough satchels, I went back to craft more and we got distracted by someone taking Bradley. Sit the fuck down. Is that an AK? My AK. Come around, tower. Yeah. Where's the MP5 guy at? On top. He on top of the ring. Stupid ass. He might have the loot. They didn't end up having any of the Brad loot. I'm assuming they were countering and we got there pretty late so the crates were already out. On the upside though, we had a new Bolty and a fresh AK along with an MP5. And nothing feels better than that first AK you get. And of course, finally being back on main branch, I have to skin my kids. I didn't really realize how much I missed my skins until I had them again. Damn, I low-key drip myself out, I ain't even gonna lie. He's in the medieval set. And after a while, Jose hopped back on, and the satchel raiding group eventually came back. Literally my whole made away. Listen Somebody to that, outside. we're getting raided. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, up. we're getting raided, bro. No fucking way. It's a lot of them. Yeah, it's three. <laughs> Did he just quit? Doc? I was like, go, go in game chat and talk to him. Alright. Please don't raid. <coughs> my bad boys, um, why the fuck are y'all on my base? 
Hello? Oh, you're back, you're that back. Nice. Bro. Come on in, see what happens. Come on in, see what happens. I want some kids. Hey, open, open, open. Oh, fuck are these guys? And of course, I sat in game chat for a minute and talked my trash. And then Jose spawned on an outer to give me call out on where they were at. He looked like, like new. directly in front of the front. Oh my god, he just bodied, bro. Okay, one more, one more. He one in more. the front. In the front, he's he standing still, bro. He he, he's right in front of you. No, 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 no. To your left, to your left. To your left. Oh Literally my stupid ass. fucking god. Caleb smacked these two kids on the roof, dog. Nah, that shit was insane, bro. <laughs> I didn't oh even god, have extra bullets. Shit. And I'm not even gonna lie, I probably hurt their feelings pretty bad because they never came back, never tried to raid us, and I never even fought them again. You baby back bitch! And after going back to the 2x2 two two that we were trying to raid, we realized that it got resealed. Which was kind of expected because we thought the guy that killed me in launch lived here. We decided to give it another go and raid him again because we had a bunch of sulfur to use anyway. He on me. Fuck, he on top of the mountain. Fucking bitch. He just broke his ankles. Popped his ass. Where's he at, bro? On top All of the, the mountain. Around. Yeah. Because it's 150x flow and... Yeah, Damn. That... So I quickly realized this was not the same group that killed me at launch and it was a completely different one. Matter of fact, it was one of the guys that was camping red card at launch. He would sit outside the fuse room and sit by the recycler, that type of thing. So I wasn't really going to complain about the fact that I had accidentally raided his base. Food up in there, dude. There's a fishing rod. PC's unlocked. Go ahead and seal, dog. I'm out here. I saw five SMG bodies. They have a single full health. That's crazy. And after finishing up that raid, we decided to go to launch and recycle, and that's when I realized I'm legally blind. Mr. Not like I called him out or anything. It's like right behind you. <laughs> My ball got gunned down! <laughs> nah. His teammate's <laughs> waiting at the second fuse, so I'm gonna go cut him off. I bet. That guy was full What kit. is he doing? Bro. I swear the other guy was a hazzy. Easy ass kill. Where? You're gonna have to loot this guy, put his kit on. Yeah, I got you, I got you. MP5? Where? On my side. Now yeah, outside. Like they buy mounts? Yeah. He is, he's dead. 
I'll flank, just chill. I didn't mean to jump off. I hit him once. I hit him both. Damn! <laughs> Chill out, Brad. What's that guy had? Fuck. Shit ton of meds. I don't know where his gun went. Above him. I'm coming down triple. How the fuck can he see me though, bro? And I can't see him. Shooting at. You're good. This guy on mounts. I killed him. Couldn't even see him, but still hit him three times. After an intense recycle run at launch, we brought back 1,500 scrap, which is almost enough for us to get HV rocket. Down there, Steve. Damn, that was satisfying. And with the remaining scrap that we had in TC, we were able to get it. Strictly the walls, nothing else. I made it up. Armor. Upgrade these three, these three half walls at the bunker first. And then we finally went to go do our first Brad take. I've got okay, Ban crazy. 1 on Xbox and PlayStation. Uh, C4 uh, single armor door, first crate. Next one, another too, single armor door. Crazy. Third one, another single armor door. I got a laser pointed at my fucking head. There's a guy. There's a guy in front of me. He's behind the blue car. Behind back. the blue yeah. car. Hi, bro. Body shot, shot, he's dead. Holy meds! Kofi warrior. Give me that full kit, buddy. And while I was waiting on Brad to respawn so we could take it again, I decided to go for the Chinook crate. And that's when I ran into a random Zen player camping in the top of the tower. His name is Ghosty Zins. <laughs> Your ass. Primlock and Zen is crazy. And of course I couldn't resist texting the zen kid and talking shit. And this absolute AI says, I don't zen acting dumb. Like it isn't literally his name. Seriously though, if you have zen or zen in your name, you're a loser. If you're legit and you have it in your name, you're just kinda stupid. No. <laughs> Slammed. I'm dead. Oh, he's ass. He just texted me back and said, I don't zen, question mark. Why do you have Zen in your name?
Shortly after that first Brad take, Tone had logged off, so I was on solo once again. And since we made quite a bit of enemies, I stayed on for probably 4 or 5 hours to finish the base. I ended up building the entire compound, setting up the electricity, and upgrading most of the base. In just a couple minutes after I finished the compound and loaded the large furnaces, someone started taking Bradley. It was very early in the morning, so I was kind of hoping for it to be a solo or a duo. Not to mention, I was probably not at the top of my game because I was exhausted. game's ass, bro. And sadly, invalids exist, so I hit him four times and then double headshot him and he didn't die. So I decided to go back with an AK, assuming that I would get a lot less invalids. Invalids couldn't save you that time. Holy your f Unbelievable. I'm gonna be at full health until next wipe. Would you ever need this many meds? Oh, that's really fucking cool of you. You are the absolute worst fucking player I have ever seen. The furnace is going, how nice. And finally, after getting the base close to finished, I went to sleep for a couple hours and then hopped back on. 
And while I was out node farming, that's when I realized that these neighbors were active and they were deep. I can't lie, I thought they ran back into their base, but turns out like five of them came out. God, they're roof camping three deep and I just killed two of them. And the third. So I can't lie, I was auto running right here with my headset halfway off. Oh my God. I was turning off my PS4 and an MP5 guy just started shooting at me. Oh my god, he's calling these in. Come out here. I can't loot this guy's body. I don't have the space. I'm just gonna help this guy get out and he's gonna wait. Three shots, go. Where you at? Oh my god, dude, I'm literally the best. <laughs> dude, they're running out naked in like waves trying to loot the body. Okay. I just killed another one off roof. Down. The fuck? Just stay there. Just stay there, crouch. He's dead. There's two over there, by the way. Wait, there's one on me. Dead? No, alive. Where's the body at? He might have survived. Just back up. This guy's got a full kit. I need you to loot it. <clears throat> they keep opening and reopening the fucking gate. Like, are they coming out or? Loot this. He's full road sign bow. You're gonna have to loot that kit too. 
Where's it at? Right here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm not even joking. He's full road sign bow. He's right here. This is unbelievable. These guys are definitely like brand new. Okay, we can go now. Just go. I just had shot him out of the air. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> what was that? <laughs> All right, so this server, it was popping. Like it was max pop most of the time. And the amount of fights we had, especially at Brad, were absolutely crazy. And I obviously cannot show all of them in this vid or like this video would be f like four hours long. So I'm gonna make a separate video and put it on my second channel that's gonna have all the PVP from this video and all of the other PVP we had. I'm gonna condense it down into a bunch of clips in one video with like no editing, which I do recommend going and watching it because I had some crazy fights. But skipping ahead about a day, our last day on the server, we had been offline for about an hour and a half. This was right after we won a crazy amount of Brad fights. And in this hour and a half, me, Heath, and Sarah, we were playing Overwatch. But I had an alt account on, as always, to make sure that we didn't get raided. And that's when this 10 man of absolute fucking losers from J17 tried to offline us. And to make it even worse, they rocket PvP'd Sarah and Heath putting them on bag timer right away. Sarah had no outer bag, so when they rocket PvP'd her, they also broke her bag. Which left it up to me and Heath to defend this raid against a 10 man. And these absolute weirdos, these children, they streamed themselves offline raiding me. And they tried to justify it and they harassed me on TikTok with hundreds of comments trying to explain that they were onlining me when I was clearly not on. I also reacted to their stream on stream, which the stream is still public and it is on this channel. Y'all can go watch it. Anyways, enjoy this 10 man failing a 2v10 offline raid attempt where they had already broken TC. They're, they're pummeling. I'm getting on. Oh my god, bro. What? How many? Lot. Like five at least. I also just want to make this clear. We were off for over an hour playing a completely different game. This raid probably would have been over in seconds with how bad they are, but my aim was just not the best because I had been playing Overwatch. But once I got warmed up, it was pretty much wraps for them. Dead, are you in, bro. You in tune for? Nah, bro, it's over. Holy fuck, bro, the amount of people I can see right now. Yeah, do you have any, you don't have any turrets? I don't have any. I'm, I can't help you. No bags. I can't even see anything, dude. I can't see shit. You still wall? They're in four. I killed all in four. Nice, nice, nice. Give me a sec, I'm healing up. Grab water before we seal. I got boom, I got boom, I got boom. I can't seal. 
I scuffed it. I got I got boomer four good. We got like I got you like got two rows. And I got rockets. So I can't lie as a tip to y'all, if you are ever getting raided, this is the best possible thing you can do. If you can get boom off of their bodies and get it out of their reach, they simply can't win the raid. If you kill a raider and you grab his rockets and you depot it upstairs in a bedroom or something like that, just anywhere where they can't get to it, it pretty much just ends the raid. They can't keep raiding. Not, not me on us, my right? side. They're not us. <clears throat> Killed them both again. Nice. I'm in compound still. We're sealed with the stone. Sealed, sealed that bitch. Keep going, keep up good. They're still, they're still, they're raid base still. Fucking idiots. Get the kill! It didn't work. <laughs> there's, there's just two lasers pouring at us. <laughs> no Did way, I it? just sealed. <laughs> put a, put a bear, little barricade on top. Through that door? Yeah. I killed the one out of raid base. <laughs> I'm on bag, dude. I'm gonna do guys some outers, bro. Hey, hey, we need to raid the raid base. Oh, I got MP5 in a second. Oh, fuck. I knew your boy saw that, right? All four of you. Oh, that bomb. Okay. I just doubled him through a two inch gap. It's open. I'm not gonna take off the boots. I'm swinging. Wait, did you? Let me go get this shit. They're all dead. Fuck yeah. Gun. 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 I, I need 5 5, bro. I don't, I'll need the clip. Okay, I got it. <clears throat> Sarah, take this. Take my phone. <laughs> Just take come it. upstairs, Sarah. There's three full metal bodies. No one's like Kelly boys? Oh my gosh, look at that body. Who the fuck is this clan, bro? The he silenced him too on Rocket, kid. So if you couldn't tell by watching that, this group, they're a bunch of jokes. Not only did they just attempt to offline me 10 deep, they also streamed it, and they call themselves a comp team. Not only that, the reason that they were trying to offline me in the first place is because they were taking Silenced M2 to Brad, and I was killing them for it. But make sure y'all go to the second channel, where I'm gonna put the counterpart to this video. It's going to have probably 20 or 30 fights that I wasn't able to show in this video, along with the ones where this 10 man tried to counter my Bradley with Silenced M2. And my personal message to this group of people, this clan, they call themselves GCS. You guys are awful, uninstall the game. And to all the wonderful people that actually watch to the end, I appreciate y'all, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Dude, I got that on stream, I got, guess how many viewers I got? Four viewers! Yes, sir!